Hi guys, welcome back. We will continue with intermediate algorithm scripting and today we're going to solve the DNA pairing exercise. So let's see. Uh, we have a DNA strand which is missing a pairing element. We need to take each character, get its pair and return the results as a two-dimensional array, so as a nested array. The base pairs are only pairs of A and T and C and G. We need to match the missing element to the provided character. Here's an example. We got GCG and we return GC. So the pair for G is C, the pair for C is G, and the pair for G is C. Okay, this is what we need to return. So when we get a string like this one, we need to iterate through all the characters in the string and get its pair. To make it easy to get the pair, let's first create an object with all the pairings. Okay, that would be the uh, easiest way. I'm going to create a constant pairing and it's going to be an object. I'm going to give uh, as a property the first element, so for A, and um, as a value I'm going to give the paired the the next character which is paired so a is paired with t then of course t is paired with a okay then g is paired with c and c is paired with g now why do we need this this will make it easier to find the pair. For example, if I want to get the pair of A, I'm just going to use, I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to use the pairings object and I'm going to give as an input the character. Okay, and it gives me T. If I want to get the pair of T, I get A. To, to make it easy to access the uh, pairings. Now, I think it's pretty easy what we need to do. First, let's just uh, split the string into an array. Okay, I'm going to do split. Let's see what this does. And it gives us um, an array with all the characters in the string. Now, what we need to do is just uh, use map in order to, to map each element into another array which will have the pair. Okay, so G will be will be mapped into this one, GC, the pair. Let's use map, map, and I'm going to have the function element go to. Now what we want to return is an array and with only two elements, the element and its pair and its pairing. Okay, so element will be the first, and then I'm going to get the pairing. To get the pairing, I'm going to use the object pairings, and uh, using bracket notation, I'm going to give element. Okay, so this actually gives us what we want. I think this should cover all the cases. Uh, let's run it. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, uh, I think that's it for DNA pairing. Uh, I'll continue in the next video with uh, missing letters. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.